Welcome to the Sage 50 Cloud Pastel Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how the settlement discount for suppliers works. This discount is a discount that your suppliers give you for paying an invoice in a specific period of time, normally referred to as early payment discount. You will need to ensure that the invoice is paid in full, that the early terms have been set up before processing the invoice and that the supplier is an open item supplier. In Pastel, you can then process that payment and the discount will be worked out automatically. In order to do this, open your Sage Pastel Accounting set of books. Select Edit, Supplier, Accounts. The Edit Supplier Account window will open. Select the Processing tab. Ensure that the supplier is an open item supplier and where you see early terms, select the number and click on the magnifying glass. You can then set up your early terms. You can go and either change or modify them by clicking the F7 Modify option and then you will enter the discount percentage as well as the number of days. You can then choose from the date of invoice or the last day of the period. These terms will be given to you by the supplier. You will then click on OK after adding or modifying the entry and then selecting the entry that is relevant to the supplier that you wish to process. Click on the Save option. You will then need to process a transaction. If you are using Partner and you happen to be using Good Receive Notes, you will need to process a Good Receive Note first before being able to process your supplier invoice. If you are using Express, you will only have the option of processing a supplier invoice. In Partner, you can also turn off Good Receive Notes and then only use supplier invoices. Please refer to the video, How to Turn Off Good Receive Notes. In this case, we need to process a Good Receive Note first. You process a Good Receive Note in the exact same way as you would process a supplier invoice would select the relevant supplier as well as the item that you are bringing into stock. A good Receive Note is specifically for that reason. It allows you to bring in stock before you have received the supplier invoice. The moment you click our next document, the Good Receive Note is automatically updated. We can now process our supplier invoice. When we process our supplier invoice, again, you select your supplier that you wish to process to. I we'll advise you that there are outstanding Good Receive Notes if you are using Partner with Good Receive Notes and you can click on Yes to link these Good Receive Notes. Once you have linked the Good Receive Notes, if you look at your header, you will see your period and date as well as the supplier invoice number. Enter the supplier invoice number and then where you see terms, these are your early terms. This is why Older invoices where the terms were not applied will not automatically work out the discount percentage. However, this invoice will as the terms are now part of the header. Complete the invoice and select Next Document. Depending on if your documents update on completion of document depends on whether you can move on to the next step or whether you need to go to Batch Update. If the Batch Update option is available, please select this option as the document needs to be updated in order for the cash book to automatically work out the discount. Once you have updated your documents, you will then go to Process in your cash book. In your cash book, there are two ways to automatically allocate the discount. Firstly, select your Settings option and ensure that Allocate Settlement Discount is ticked. Check all of your other settings and click on Close. Once you have checked your settings, you can then either process the lines individually or click on Batch Remittance Assistant. To use the Remittance Assistant, you cannot have an open batch. The Remittance Assistant checks all of your suppliers and then produces a list of invoices that are due for payment. It will also check if any early terms are applicable. You can either choose a range or to select all of your suppliers, you can leave the from as blank and the to filled with Zs. Select next and select the period that you wish to produce the list for. Please also pay special attention to the date. 
Once you have selected the date, you will need to enter a starting reference number. Select Next and a list of suppliers will be produced where payment is due. You will also notice that the discount for the specific invoice has already been allocated. Click on Next and it will ask you for remittance and cheque printing. Since cheques are no longer a big thing, you can just select No Printing and select Next. It will ask you to confirm the operation. Click on Process. The operation has completed successfully will display. Click OK on the message and then select Finish. You will see that the line has been entered into your cash book and the discount has already been filled in. This is the method using the remittance assistant. However, if you wish to process each line manually, you would select the period as well as your date. Remember, in order for the early discount to work out, you have to fall within the terms that you have set up, in this case, seven days from the date of the invoice. Select supplier and then select the supplier that you are making the payment for. Enter description and where you get to bank exclusive or bank inclusive, select the F3 button or match and you will see that again it will automatically allocate the discount for you. Select close and the transaction will be completed. This way you can do it per line or you can do it by using the remittance assistant. If however you are using balance forward you will need to manually work out the early terms. Thank you.